I was 10 days away from harvest. But you know, your tomorrow's aren't guaranteed. So it was, it was pretty hard. You can't get a digger there, you can't get your tractor there, you can't do, you can't do anything really at the start. The farm was just one big paddock. There was a number of days I'd go out there and I'd stand in the yard and I'd go, well, where do I start? Every bit of machinery, every tool, every, everything was lost. And I don't suppose it really sunk in for a couple of days actually, just the fact that we were without a bridge. Once we made that decision, we're gonna save the orchard, it just gave us real vision and hope. And we just, we just got busy and getting on with the work. We just gotta go day by day and realize that it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's bloody important to connect quickly with, with the people that make, you know, help you make those strong decisions. You know, you've just gotta lean into it. And um, it's what farmers do, isn't it? They pick up and get going. We did a whole lot right at the start and it got wiped out. And yeah, we just all kind of laughed about it. And so it's like, oh, well, we'll go back again and have another crack. We can't get over what has healed on the farm and then the ways everything has fallen back into place. The cleaning up process is a healing process, I suppose, as well. When you're in the moment, it does seem quite overwhelming, but it's incredible now, a year later. Um, we're nearly there. My old man always said to me, don't worry, mate, the sun will come up tomorrow. And, you know, yeah, it might not tomorrow, but it's probably the next day or the next day, and um, yeah, it'll, it'll get better. I'm a firm believer that the impossible just takes a little bit longer. <laughs> you think, oh, you're buggered? But nah, nah, you're not.